Sometimes, of course, I've disagreed with the president, but I've also been extremely open about the fact that I was wrong about Donald Trump. I was wrong, first of all, because I believed some of the media stories that turned out to be dishonest fabrications of his record. But most importantly, Donald Trump delivered for the American people. Rising wages, rising take-home pay, an economy that worked for normal Americans, a secure southern border, a lot of things, frankly, that I didn't think he'd be able to deliver on. And yeah, when you screw up, when you misspeak, when you get something wrong and you change your mind, you ought to be honest with the American people about it. It's one of the reasons, Margaret, why I've done so many interviews is because I think it's important to actually explain to the American people where I come down on the issues and what changed. Now, you, you pointed out to messages from 2020. Margaret, I've been extremely consistent that I think there were a lot of things that we could have done better in the Trump administration the first round if Congress was doing its job. I, I strongly believe, and I've been a United States senator, that Congress is not just a high-class debating society. It's not just a forum for senators and congressmen to whine about problems. It's a forum to govern. So there were a lot of things on the border, on tariffs, for example, where I think that we could have done so much more if the Republican Congress and the Democrats in Congress had been a little bit better about how they govern the country. They were so obsessed with impeaching Donald Trump, they couldn't actually govern. And I, and I want to talk about this tariff issue in particular uh, Margaret, because you know, Tim just accused this of being a national sales tax. Look, the one thing, and you're, not, you're probably surprised to hear me praising Joe Biden, but the one thing that Joe Biden did is he continued some of the Trump tariffs that protected American manufacturing jobs. And it's the one issue, the most pro-worker part of the Biden administration, it's the one issue where Kamala Harris has run away from Joe Biden's record. Think about this. If you're trying to employ slave laborers in China at $3 a day, you're going to do that and undercut the wages of American workers unless our country stands up for itself and says you're not accessing our markets unless you're paying middle-class Americans a fair wage.